Okay. Not sure this video is going to work because I'm out on my back porch. And um, over there on that side, the air conditioner is making noise. The neighbors behind us is mowing their grass. And so you may not be able to hear me, but I'll check it first before I um, post it to make sure that um, you can hear me. If you can't hear me, I'll just dump it in the trash. All right. Now, I've been sitting out here for a while, and I've been been um, doing some of, some of these gel paintings. I really like doing this. This 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 doing this kind of gets um, it actually gets quite quite um, addictive because you start pulling prints and then. The whole other half of my table over there is full of prints that I already did. But now I just wanted to do a couple with y'all because I was sitting here talking to myself. I was doing the printing and I was talking to myself. And I thought, well, if I'm just talking to myself, um, then I'm not talking to anybody. Although my husband, he's inside the house there and he can hear me talking to myself. And then he thinks I'm just talking to myself. And he kind of starts chicken nursing homes, you know, um, mental health facilities. Not really. But um, so I thought, well, I'll just go get my camera and do it in, like, whatever, whatever you call this video for. So I'm going to still continue doing it and still keep continue talking to myself. And, um. Because I was having some kind of fun here. Now, this is my jelly plate. It's got some inks already on it. And, um, oops, I better put down my camera because I'm not going to paint my face. Oh, wait a minute. I'm putting my computer down instead of my camera. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a dork every day. Just, what's day? Sunday? On Sundays. Now, I've got some gesso in here. And I've been using my gesso as, as white paint. I bought this here gesso, Artist Acrylic White. It was pretty cheap. It come in like a paint can. But um, my paint can, I couldn't always get the lid on correctly. So I put it in this here pork jar. And then took the label off of the paint can and put it on there. So um, that, yeah, that's what it did. And so... Okay, so see if I put some white gesso on there and then put some paint of some color on there. I, oops, I gotta shake that up. Then, you know, it just kind of lightens that color a wee times a bit or a lot, depending on how much paint I put on there. But see, I am so not a. Um, expert artist. I just try everything I see and um, I try everything I see and just see what happens. And because and, you just never know what's going to happen. So here I'm just going to put, now you can use any old paper. Now this is just, my daughter, she brought me this paper. She works as a Oh, what is she? she? Oh, she's a nurse. But she works in, um, she's a case manager, something like that. So in their office, they always throw away a lot of paper. And so, in one side of the paper still good. And so, um, I mean, it's still clear. It's just not used. And so it's like, almost like a failing me to throw it away. So I just I just use it. I just she brings it to me and I use it. She can bring me all them papers, it doesn't matter, just so long as it doesn't have any um you know patient information. We can't have none of that going on. We'd be in all sorts of trouble with the um uh, HIPAA people. So we don't want to be in trouble with those folks. And so here now I just pulled two separate prints off of that where I mixed that green and that um and that green. No, the green, emerald green and um some of the white just. Now see, 
what I do is I just keep on printing. I just keep on. I just keep on keep, keep it on. And and I um I just want to show you how I just keep on keeping on a little bit. And I've done I've I've done gesso prints before on a video, but you know this one might be a little different. This one might be a lot different. You never know. And so what I like to do is I like to experiment with other stuff, with things. Like for instance, I back in the day in in, in not days long ago. Let me see. I used to be like a preschool teacher and then I was sort of like a kindergarten teacher. And um and so I had bought a lot of supplies way back then in that day. Like these stencils. I had some I have like a bunch of stencils and then the I have the the um the, I have the negative and the positives in there. And some of them I don't think I ever used. So and and that was a long time ago because I first started when my wait a minute, I gotta wipe the dust off. Okay, there's a lot of dust on these things. Well, I'm not finding what I think I want. So I'm gonna take this. This is a seal. Okay. That's a seal. Don't put that seal on there. That seal, presidential seal, well, it's not presidential seal, but I'm going <coughs> to just go ahead and put that on there. And so that uses, that makes like a little mess. Now, do you know what I should have done? I should have sunk in something here. Okay, now. So there, there's that seal right there, because it kind of masks that whole shoot and match out. And then I should have probably went around with my finger to get a better print. But now I'm going to take that other, the last one I just did that went like that. I'm going to go over that again and just get that seal. Wait a minute, I got I gotta go back a little bit just a tad. Let me see. Um, oh right here. Oh right here. Now then that seal come on here. See, so I have a little bit of something. And um but you know what I do? I just go over and over and under and around. And do all kinds of things. All, all kinds. Excuse me. I got to shake that one up too. Some of these here paints are like old as Methuselah. Oh, I wanted to say that I started teaching when my youngest son was four years old. Because he was in my very first preschool class. And um, he's now 32. So that shows you kind of how long I've had those those interesting um, doohickeys. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Okay. I bet, I bet I won't be able to post this because of all the background noise. No, it's okay, you know, it's okay. If I don't post it, I'm still actually talking to you guys. I just will never see it. All right now, see how nice that is. I like that. See, and and when you're doing a gel printing, you are just actually just most of the time just making a background. Nobody will ever see this back part of it because I'll glue it on something, and so. See how pretty? Isn't that pretty? I think that's pretty. You know, there's some 
color in there, pretty color. And um, and then maybe I would, I don't have too many colors out here. I got a lot of colors, but they're all like blues and greens. Like my red, the boxes of reds, I think are still out at the picnic table where my grandson and myself, we were painting rocks. We paint rocks down here in Florida. I don't know if y'all are into that rock painting things where you guys live, but we paint rocks and we go hide them in parks and stuff. And then people will look for them and then rehide them. And um, now sometimes you might find a favorite and you might keep it, but um, we just kind of find them. And, and we, there is a couple that I have kept. But mostly we just find them and, and then rehide them. And it's fun, too, that if you paint, like we got a Facebook group called, called Spring Hill Rocks because we live in Spring Hill. And if we put Spring Hill Rocks on the bottom of the rock, they know where it comes from. Then in the next town next to us, shortly away from us where we go, it's Eupo Ritchie. And they got Eupo Ritchie Rocks. And so... If you put what area you're from, it's fun to see how far that rock has moved around. And so, look at that. I like that. It's got like a copper in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I me like that one. I do. I do. I do. Now, I'm not going to make this very long because I'm usually pretty long-winded. And um, I'm trying to get over that long-windedness. And, um... So, and, and I've got, like, over there, I've got so much already made on the, on the table. Let me see if I can kind of show it, show you if I move this camera. See all them pages over there on the table? Dr they're all drying. Let's see. There we go. There's that air conditioner that's making all that noise. Okay. Now. There you go. Now, okay, just so you know, I got some, and in a later time, I'm going to show you some of the things I do with those, because I may make card fronts, I may make ATCs, you just never know. You just never, and, and like, like if you, um, if you look at this here, look at that. Isn't that vertical? That's vertical. If you ask me, if you ask me, that's very vertical. Now, let me see. Now I'm going to add a little bit of, what do they call this here? Red copper. Oh, I like that. That's by Gleams Ceramicals. Gleams Ceramicals by Delta. Now, I was gifted a whole shooting match of paint. These sizes of little paints, they were given to me, uh, they were kind of, you know, through the grapevine. My daughter-in-law gave them to me, but a friend of hers gave them to her, and the friend of hers got them from her grandmother who became an angel, so she didn't need to use the paints anymore. And so so that's how I got these paints. And I'm telling you, I think there was 300, right in the neighborhood of 300 bottles of paint. Now, some of them are very old and they're just clumpy. And so I mix water with them or, or, or sometimes I'll put in some, you know, I might put some clear gesso in with them or something like that. And then I make, and, and sometimes they come back to life. Sometimes they're too far gone, but I have a roll. I have this roll. This is a roll of brown paper right there. And I just keep on rolling. I roll up over here on this side. Over on this side is where I roll it up and just put.
pull me out some new one. I let that dry. I pull it over. I roll it up, and I got new paper. But then I got all this old paper that I can use on other things. Now, oh yeah, I am really liking that copper. I am loving that copper in my colors. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Now, I'm not going to keep you long. I think I always say that. I'm going to just pull me on some. Move these out of my way. Hello, Mr. Seal. Okay, and I'm going to give me some more white gesso, which, you know, white paint. I just don't have any white paint out here. Now, and then I'm going to, you see, I don't wash my brayer. I'm just, I just sort of, now, I just put that, I just put that, um, that gesso stinks. I don't know why it gave me stink like that. Ooh, now I got a thumb full of paint on my camera because I went to go move it. But that's okay. It matches everything else in my house. Big fat mess. Big fat mess. Okay, so now you can see this here page that I did. Now I have these kind of these foam stamps. This is one of my favorites right here. But this is cheap, cheap, cheap. That's cheap. You know, like what you're in. They're, this is cheap. Maybe I should call them inexpensive because sometimes if you say cheap, people might think I mean cheaply made. But they're not. They're nice. But that's what I use when I do this. So now I'll use that like almost like a stamp pad. See, I put that white on there. And then I have that on here. And then I can go over here. And I um, just can stamp. This dries fast. This is a fast drying paint, you know, with acrylics. They, they dry fast. So I'm sure every one that I've got over there is probably already drawn. Now, see, I'm just fixing that up with. Fixing that up with some design on there, see? Isn't that pretty? Now, now, and, and you never know what I'll do next. You never know what I'll do next. I may um, take my Posca pen and I might black Posca and go around and like highlight some of the swirls on that. You just never know what I'm not, you just never know what you're going to get. And so, I'm going to let it dry, and then, do the same thing on this one. And I think that's just beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go here like this. Now, oh, and then I'll just go down here. And you see I'm kind of overlapping it and sticking on that other page too. That doesn't matter because, see that? That's pretty. I like it. But then I like everything. There's not much that I don't like other than Brussels sprouts. And I don't like Brussels sprouts. And I don't like liver and onions. Man, liver and onions smell so good while it's cooking. I'm telling you. Make you drool, or it makes me drool. I, you know, because I just love liver and onions. And, um, and no, no, I'm not either. I thought I was going to do something, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it away. Um, yeah, I, I just can't. What am I doing? Gosh, sometimes I just lose track of my mind. I don't know why. But, um, Oh, it's been a pretty day today so far. Oh, yeah, we did have rain earlier. That's right, we did. We've been having rain most every day. Now, here's the look. I got two different kind of butterflies. Butter, butterflies? You know they're butterflies. Okay. So, I'm going to put, I'm going to do the butterfly. Yeah. That's Pretty. Let me put the butterfly in. You know, you see there's like a white edge around this paper. 
once you cut that white edge off, it makes such a difference. It makes such a difference. It really does. It, it, yeah, it does. Whenever I do my next video on this, on these pages, you'll see how, how it does, how different it makes things. It, how pretty. The, I mean, this, you know, this is just a beginning of a work of art. I call it a work of art. You never know if anybody else does. You know, some people only like Picasso and Lamborghini and, well, I don't know if Lamborghini, well, no, Lamborghini is a car. It's not an artist. Lamborghini, Lamborghini is a car. Now, there, there was that there, um, that seal, and, um, you know what they're changing, actually? Shut this old body. When I get up to go pick something up, it just this old screeches at me. Okay, you know you can take a marker. I've probably got, i got so many markers. i got nice markers. I don't have every marker that's ever been made. And I don't have like any expensive markers, but these ones are infinities. These are nice. But when I first got into coloring in coloring books, I, you wouldn't believe it. I just kept, gel, gel pens turned out to be my most favorite. Gel pens turned out to be most favorite. See, I just outlined the seal. Gave my eyes so you can see. I should get my eyelashes. You never know. I might give them eyelashes after a while. But, um, let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, this is kind of cool. That one's kind of cool. Wipe the dust out of that. Okay. I, have a, I have a lot of dust. You know, I know some people that live, like, far away. They think that Florida is like a, like a forever vacation wonderland. Florida is beautiful, but where the, you know, Florida is also a tourist track. So to go into the center of the state where Orlando and Kissimmee and all them are, then they have, you know, like, DC World and Sea World and you know, Nickelodeon and Epcot Center and all them fancy schmancy places. Well, we live, I, I live on like the West Coast and, and it's nice out here because we're, we're close to the Gulf and so we like to go sit at the park near the Gulf. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, see, I don't have any paint in them. Now, what I probably should have done was to maybe do this on, like, a gray. Do that same thing, like, on a gray sheet. And um, then the C, I should have did the whole thing in gray, then went over it with the green, and then did the white. Maybe that would have been, I wouldn't say better, just different. It would have been just different. And so here, this one's got a little copper in it. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take an ad. Where'd that copper go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's it. Red copper. And, um, I like it where we are. We got seven. No, don't have seven anyway. We have two and a half acres. We've been here 43 years. Now, back in the day when my children were young, when my children were young. We had this two and a half acres filled with animals, with crocodiles. No, we didn't have any crocodiles. But we had chickens, we had rabbits, we had, we had goats. I had a lot of goats. And cows. We had, one time we had horses, but two and a half acres is not enough for horses. They need a lot more than that. So we didn't get to keep our horses. 
which broke my son's heart when we had to get shed of them, but we had to get shed of them. And, um, because horses will eat. Horses will eat, um, they throw all the grass, and then they dig into the dirt and keep even the roots, and then there's no grass and no roots, and it is like sand. And they get sand in their belly, and that's not hit, that's not healthy for them little boogers. Okay, now, see, I'm just talking in a phantom, that's all I'm doing. And so, yeah, my kids were in 4-H, and they would... They would enter their things in the fair, and then they'd win ribbons, and then they'd get a check. They pay you to win. They pay you to enter. They pay you to win. So, I didn't realize I did this many. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Well, you know what I want to do? I want to, I want to pick that up. But see, that kind of looks pretty cool. So, I want to pick that up. So I'm going to just put that on there, give it a little pull, and see what it does. Now see it was kind of thick, but it still, it still gave that little bit of a design there. So when that dries, that will take a little longer to dry, but it's going to be very pretty. Now let's see, did I put, I think, okay, I think I got everything going on now. This is my last page that I want to do some on. So I'm going to use this one. That's pretty, isn't it? Boy. This is fun. You know, I could be out at the yacht club, you know, shining up my yacht. I could be doing that down at the shore. I could be to the country club having a spot of tea. But I choose to just paint. And if the truth be known, I don't have no yacht. I ain't got no, I ain't got no not yacht. There's a boat in my backyard. That belongs to my son-in-law. Well, he's actually my ex-son-in-law, but he's still my grandson's dad, so I see him a lot. He's got a boat sitting in the backyard. He needs to get rid of that thing. Although I could probably paint it and make a flower bed out of it, fill it full of dirt, and put a bunch of flowers in it, paint flowers on the outside, and make it a decoration, like a yard decoration. I don't know if that would make me look like a hillbilly or a redneck. We have a lot of hillbillies and rednecks, too, in our state. Uh, but, you know, along the coast. Well, along the actual coast, like Clearwater State and all that, there's some fancy beaches down there and some big fancy motels. But a lot of Florida is just beautiful. I mean, just a lot of green. There's a lot of, used to be a lot of orange groves, but we had some cold weather that froze the orange groves up. But anyway, isn't that one pretty? So that one there is really going to make something nice. Now, I will be doing more on this. You know, I got paint on there, so I don't want to waste that. I don't want to waste that. So I'm going to take it just as it is. Some of the Prints that I did, I printed on the printed sign, side, printed side. And if you get enough ink on it, paint on it, then um, if you get enough paint on it, it covers the whole thing up. Okay, I'm going to wash this stuff off. I got a sink right over there in here, in this porch, on this porch. I should call it something else. I should call it like the veranda or something. Because that's more of a fancy word. And then I would be more like a fancy person if I was out on the veranda or on the lanai. 
I really don't know what the difference between a lanai and a veranda and a back porch. I got a back porch. You know, I'm thinking I'll look that up. I'm going to give that a little Google and find out what's the difference between a back porch, a veranda, and a lanai. I think there's even another word, I don't know what it is, that you can call these. This is a screened in back porch. That's all it is. And I got, um, I love like these kind of things. Can you see my ceiling? That's my ceiling. Well, I can't see all of them. But I got like those chimes. I don't have too many, but I, I like them things. So I got them hanging on. And then that's the door that goes into the house. And that's the dog door right there so they can get in and out. And so, but yeah, that's my life. That's a moment in the life of Lizzie Beth. Elizabeth Brewer Scrap and Lizzie. Scrappin, S-C-R-A-P-P-I-N-L-I-Z-Z-I. -Z -Z -I. See, sometimes people write it as two words, like scrapping, Lizzie, and and which is okay. You know, you can call me anything, except don't call me late to dinner. And, um, but, but, um, that's what it is, scrapping. Scrapping, S-C-R-A-P-P-I-N-L-I-Z-Z-I, -Z -Z -I, all one word. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna close I'm gonna close down shop now and clean this mess up that I have out here. And um yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you kindly for stopping by. You guys are you guys are just like awesome and stuff. Come cow on me. My daughter found this at the print shop too. You can find a lot of stuff at the print shop. This is my cow I think. I love cows. I used to milk cows when I was a little girl and I lived on the farm up there in Minnesota. Yeah. And so, but see, this shirt is what I usually wear to the yacht club. So I put my apron on so I don't, so I didn't get paint on my yacht club shirt. I'm lying. I don't go to the yacht club. <laughs> I'm a mess. Okay. Just so you know, I still love you. I love you so much. You just don't know it. And I get so excited. But I get them comments and people, they want to come to my house, have a cup of coffee. I wish all of you could. We would have a blast. We would have a genuine blast. You just take your shoes off. You don't have to take your shoes off if you don't want. My carpet's old. This house is 23 years old. Because, see, we, you know what the funny thing is? When we first moved on this here property, I was 43 years old, and we first had a mobile home. We had a mobile home, and it was a single wide mobile home, and then we built onto both sides of it. So it was huge. It was a lot of space. It was really nice. It was really nice. But then the mobile home started giving way because there was leaks inside the walls or something. You know? And so then we said, oh, we got to do something. And so we built this house. That was 23 years ago. 23. We moved in from the mobile home into this house. We moved into the house on August the 20th, 1974. 74? Yes, August the 20th, 1974. And we moved from the mobile home into this house on August the 20th, 1994. Exactly to the day, 20 years later. Can you believe that was 20 years? I think that was a message. I don't know what the message is all about, but it was a message. And so so we've been in the house now for 20, 23 years. And when I first moved into this house, I said, I am not going to clutter it up. I got clubbered up, clubbered up, clubbered up. You know what I'm trying to say. The mobile, I, you know, I wasn't going to clutter it up. I wasn't going to hang all that stuff on the wall. I wasn't going to do that. And that lasted for about, oh, maybe a month, maybe two months. Now it is so cluttered, now that I've been here in 20 years. There is so much junk, you know, because I'm a hoarder. I hoard stuff. I need it. I, you never know I might need it. I mean, like my daughter, she helped. She brought me this stack of paper from her work. That would have been the trash, but she brought it to me because she knew I needed it. 
How about me a new coffee cup? My coffee cup is a couple. And um, right there on the little, little tray thing where you put the pot, it had a little round piece of cardboard just right on the heating element there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited over that little round piece of cardboard. I'm going to do something with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I put it right over in my area. Because I hoard things. Well, only good stuff. Only good stuff. I don't hoard. We hold the trash out. And we throw that away. But uh, I, um, yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. So anyway, I love you. And God bless you. God watch you. Every step you take, every move you make, every word you say, he watches over you. So you just follow his path. And you are going to be in good shape. I don't think he'll may help you win the lottery. You know? I think that's just by chance. All right. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. And I'm going to make another video soon. This, I think this is the second one I need today. I am on a roll. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.